Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're going to take a look into Virgo's week ahead for October 11th through the 17th. In this message, we are first going to tap into the energies with the wisdom of the Oracle deck here. Then we will get an overview message with the Psychic Tarot deck. We can dig a little bit deeper with the traditional deck and then I'll clarify as well as pull a few Oracle cards. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So let's see here, Virgo, what we can see for you guys. October 11th through the 17th. Please and thank you, Spirit. What is the most important message that Virgo needs to see here? October 11th through the 17th. Please and thank you. Higher power. Beautiful first card of Virgo. Let's get a few more cards out here and dig a little bit deeper. I do definitely feel like you are being divinely guided at this time, so there is a need to listen. TikTok. Divine timing. Mm. I see. Ooh. Guys. Swear to God, Virgo. So, X may be coming back a changed man or woman. Okay. You are being divinely guided here, and I feel like you're kind of in limbo. This card means limbo. It's like in between. Not still in this dim, dark state, but not quite yet moved completely forward. And there's something that's holding you back, Virgo. Something. And I feel like I can't quite put my finger on it. I feel like you can't quite put your finger on it. You've probably gotten several tarot card readings. And every time, it's probably something like the High Priestess or the Moon coming out. Telling you that something's hidden, but it's not yet to be known. Right? Let's take a little bit deeper look here, Virgo. Because I do feel like there is something that's holding you back. Okay, I feel like this is a deep connection. Um, and this is going to come back around, but it's going to be in divine timing. Okay, this may be confirmation for you. For those of you that this is resonating with, this is definitely soulmate twin flame energy. Okay, so let's see here, Virgo. Most important message here for Virgo Spirit. What does Virgo need to see for October 11th through the 17th? Please and thank you. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here on YouTube are general. They're not going to resonate every time with every person. It's really about the title. There's something in the title resonating. There's most likely going to be something in the message for you. I like to say you're going to feel it, so it's going to hit you. There's not going to be any questioning, any second guessing. If the message is meant for you, you're going to feel it, okay? For information on energy cleanse kits, how to get entered into the drawing, extended readings. I'm about to launch a tarot course. So if that's something you're interested, all the links will be below, guys, in the description box. And Virgo, if you like how I vibe, you like how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help set your intentions for future messages. Transformation. This is death energy. Okay. Somebody is going through dark night of the soul. This is like deep, dark depression. But in that depression, it's almost like the analogy that I always use with clients, Virgo, is, and you can see in this card, she's a butterfly, right? She's a butterfly. To me, the butterfly transformation is the, is the most deep and dark, and you can actually look it up online. When a butterfly goes through its, a caterpillar goes through its transformation 
into a butterfly. It goes through this stasis of a jelly phase, like it's all gel and it's just this mucus um, at one point in its transformation. And you can actually look it up online. It's um, actually kind of gross if you do look it up, but um, it's not an easy transformation. It's not an easy process also understand that there are certain things that you're going to have to go through in order to get where you're headed just like a butterfly busting out of the cocoon right the butterfly wouldn't be able to fly with its wings if it didn't have that initial kick out of that cocoon right this is either pertaining to you, Virgo, or this could be pertaining to your person, but somebody's going through a deep, dark transformation here. We have obstacles and challenges, universe, moving on, recognition and reward, crown chakra, Conflict and defeat and destiny. As we see here in the cards, Virgo, I feel like this is a situation that you have been trying to move forward from for a long time. And this has proven, this completion of the cycle has proven to be very challenging. However that resonates with you. But I feel like it's to me i take this as you may have tried to leave this person because it's toxic because of whatever reasoning that you have behind leaving which is a valid reason i feel a very valid reason for moving on but this is six of swords energy and this is a sacrifice that you're feeling like you're having to make here virgo okay and you may not even understand why you feel like you're sacrificing something, almost like you're having to cut out a piece of your heart to move forward from this connection. You're needing to trust your intuition because this is a faded connection that is coming through here for those of you that this is resonating with. And I do feel like you and this person have gone through a lot together, Virgo a lot I feel like you have tried to move on I feel like you have probably tried to cut off every leg and limb trying to get away from this person here but you just can't let's see what comes out here Virgo because I feel like your person is feeling is if this is twin flame energy your person is feeling this exact same way okay this is definitely mirroring going on here so let's take a look into the situation for virgo spirit what does virgo need to see a little bit deeper into this situation for virgo please and thank you Okay, so for some of you, there's probably some manipulation, okay? This person may have tried to manipulate you in the past, Virgo, and that's why you're not trusting this person when they're coming forward, but this is a destined connection, so um, something is going to make this, make this shift happen. This could very, very well for some of you. Uh, they could have had a major ending or a death in their family that is causing this major shift within themselves, Virgo, okay? But remember, there's, Vir there's mirroring going on here. Eight of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Eight of Wands. Seven of Cups. <laughs> Hanged man, four of swords, 
Queen of Pentacles with the Three of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Emperor. Ace of Cups. Two of Wands. Page of Swords. Nine of Wands next card out is the tower walking away i do get this energy here virgo that you're not trusting the situation but for some reason you're being reminded that this is a soulmate and i really honestly don't feel like this is going to come together i feel like you're going to be guarded to this connection but you're still being reminded here that this is a soulmate there is a transformation that's going on here i do feel like this is twin flame energy virgo the energy that's coming through here is blocking your your twin flame okay i do get the energy that you're guarded you're guarded you need some clarity you might want like victory um in this situation here virgo and i feel here that you are aren't open to this connection at all at all by any means okay there's a lot of conflict a lot of challenges i feel like you're kind of working on yourself working on your a business venture finances your own stability being open to hear this person's message is okay but i do feel there is still some confusion maybe they are still confused remember there's mirroring this is a this is twin flame energy here for about so this is definitely a person who's blocking out their twin flame. Be open to hearing them out. It may start the healing process now. I know that you're not going to want to hear this because I feel like you're blocking this person out. You, Most of you have probably already cl clicked off if you even clicked on because I'm definitely going to title this something about blocking your twin flame. Now... <laughs> I feel like you've tried several times to move on and you can't seem to shake this person no matter what you do Virgo no matter what there's a reason why I feel like there is a shift in perspective that's happening here with the hanged man this is definitely a mirroring energy but I feel like it's your partner first that's going through this change the shift something's going to happen a message somebody is going to maybe pass or some sickness is going to happen to where this is going you guys are going to have to come together and work this out is the sense that i'm getting here virgo now it's okay to focus on your needs being met and wanting clarity in the situation needing closure is important but it's also important to be aware that that's what's needed and to communicate that eight of wands Your needs are important. Eye on the prize. So don't back down. Don't compromise on your needs because this person, I feel like they're going to be in a space of giving you whatever you want. So definitely don't compromise. And if they're not, then simply just be like, okay, well, that's okay. I have better things to do then. I can't continue this lower vibrational energy trusting your intuition is going to be important now you may have to again put your foot down and if this person doesn't want to follow through or stand up to for what you want in the situation it's okay to walk away eye on the prize here because I do feel like you are definitely guarded here the nine of wands the seven of wands these are both cards of being guarded so let's get some clarity because this person this person is coming through with some type of emotional expression here but I just feel like you're well i don't know what to tell you you made your bed now you're gonna have to lay in it 
but remember Virgo this is a soulmate okay just keep that in mind this is a twin flame energy twin flame soulmate energy eight of pentacles hierophant for Virgo which simply means guys if this is a twin flame soulmate energy what that is simply meaning in simple terms is this is going to come back around this person is going to come back around this person will always be in and out of your life eight of pentacles hierophant for virgo chariot four of cups wheel of fortune divine timing you're withholding your energy here from this person, Virgo, and this person is trying to come in and reconcile. I definitely get the sense that you might not even be open to hearing their message. It's okay. <laughs> yep. You might not even be open to hearing their message. That's okay to be in that energy, to be in this guarded space. Something significant happened here between you and this person. Don't shoot the messenger, guys. Hanged man, four of swords. Justice. Ooh, see, some of you, there could be some legal matters involved with this person. It's why they're coming back here, Virgo. Strength. Be very cautious. Be very aware here. Justice. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. You're just very guarded, holding back, not really open to hearing this person out, this offer, or what they have to say. That's all that's all that keeps coming up here, Virgo. That space. Let's <laughs> see. Nine of Wands with the Hierophant. That space is okay. But understand that you're going to open up eventually. You're not going to stay there forever. Clouds eventually run out of rain. Science. So the cards that flew across the table here, Virgo, we're not going to keep them, but we will still look at them. It's going to be a battle. This person doesn't want to let you go. One of you already know that this is a twin flame connection here. To one of you, this is a wish fulfillment. And I feel like this is your person. This is may, this might be what they may come and express, Virgo. That you are their twin flame or they know or something along those lines. Okay, so be prepared for this conversation. Be strategic with how you proceed and make sure that your needs are being met. But I just don't feel here, Virgo, that you're very open at all to this. I feel like you're going to shut this down from the gate. In fact, for a lot of you, you might not even be open to hearing their message. Don't be too harsh with your words, okay? It's okay to speak your truth, but just be very um, practical. Don't be, excuse me, don't be very hasty or harsh with your words. Pay attention. It's not about what you say, Virgo. It's about how you say it. And sometimes, especially we're, when we're in this guarded energy or a person is a little persistent, then we could maybe like snap, snap at them. Like, what do you want? Or, you know, something along those lines. Just be practical. You don't have to say, what do you want? Or you don't even have to inquire on what they want. Honestly, if you say anything, I would simply be like, I'm not really in the mood to keep entertaining this energy. And that's all I would really say. But we have free will, so it's up to you. Let's get a few cards out here, Virgo, for your advice, guidance moving forward. 
this week. I am going to do an extended version, guys. In the extended, we'll take a little bit deeper look into the energies. Take a look if there's anything else to watch out for. If there's any secrets that are hidden at this time, that'll come to the forefront. We'll look at the next steps moving forward and the outcome if the guidance is followed, guys. So if that's something you're interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. Links are all below. Second link is to subscribe over there. And if you subscribe to Vimeo, you get access to all of these extended readings that I upload for all of the signs. So check it out. It's $11 a month and you, and again, you get access to all of the extended readings. So Virgo, Page of Cups. Let's get three more cards out here for Virgo's advice guidance moving forward. Please and thank you, Spirit. Eight of Cups walking away see what i tell you virgo you're not you're not dealing with this bs anymore i feel like you've already determined that in your mind and you're sticking to it yeah you've already made a decision there's no need to mull this over in your head i feel like you maybe feel this person is coming back not very sustainable maybe i need to express that like, how are you going to meet my needs? How are, how is this going to align? How is this, I don't even see this happening. If you're going to say anything at all, for some of you, I feel like you're not even going to speak to this person, to be quite honest with you. And those of you that that is pertaining to probably have already clicked off. Let's get a soul journey card here, a Virgo for you guys. If you have found that this message has been helpful, that it's resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out there. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all amazing. Envy. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. You must learn to accept that the obstacles in your life have been chosen by you. To be jealous of the soul path of another is to doubt your ability to judge what is best for you. It is human nature to covet the perceived luxuries of someone on a different journey, but to try and emulate him or her is not being true to your own guidance. You have chosen this life and these circumstances for a reason by disregarding that and following in the footsteps of another you are only setting yourself up for confusion and disappointment you never truly know what is going on in another person's life and what personal challenges he or she may face so to be envious is a fool's game be authentic to your inner voice because only you know what is best in your best interest if you don't follow your path you will have to reincarnate in an attempt to learn those original lessons again well hopefully that doesn't happen right i do however feel virgo this might not be even you this could be somebody around you that may be envious or jealous of you and needing to be aware but awareness is always key. So if you find yourself in that state and question it, how, why are you feeling that way? How, you know, let's get a power thought card for you. Freedom is my divine, right? I am free to think wonderful thoughts. I move beyond past limitations into freedom. I am now becoming all that I am created to be. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Virgo. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys for this week. 
Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. Again, if you want to get in on the extended version, the link is below. Otherwise, thank you guys again so much, and I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.